I had this conversation with um, a famous designer by the name of uh, Philippe Stark. He's a super cool guy, I guess. And uh, he said there, you know, we talked about what those three types of designers are and what students should be doing. The first kind of designer is probably what most of you who are not designers understand designers do, which is they take a slightly uh, a clunky, odd object and they round the corners, they sexy it up, and they make it beautiful. That's the worst kind of designer you could ever be. That's complete garbage. And if that's what you think it's about, uh, well, if you didn't know in the pet, if you didn't know, now you do. That's a waste of everyone's time. There's the second kind of designer, which is someone that has such an incredible personality, is such a, a, a kind of commanding presence, and does such in, insane uh, things, like juxtaposes the inobvious, taking an AK-47 machine gun, gold plating it, putting a light bulb on top of it, and selling it for $330,000, and calling it bling lighting. Uh, it becomes a signature piece of this egomaniac's work. That is type two designer. And that was Philippe Stark, which he said, those days are gone. That is not the type of designer we want to be training in schools. Maniacs making crazy ass objects that are just, uh, they're more on the verge <laughs> of art. The third type of designer is where it makes, a, it makes a lot of sense. It's designer as entrepreneur, designer as inventor, design permeating through any profession anywhere and, and enabling more people to use the power of design to reinvent parts of the world that don't make sense. Uh, through invention, through just asking naive questions about systems that are in place and reorganizing them a bit, maybe some, in some ways that are not as efficient, but questioning them in the first place is the type of designer we need on this planet.